adults, teenagers, and kids who are bullied and who bully others may have serious, lasting problems. Bullying is no joke. It includes actions such as making threats, spreading rumors, attacking someone physically or verbally, and excluding someone from a group on purpose. Those who are bullied and bully others may be at more risk of negative outcomes, such as depression or suicidal ideation. There are various types of bullying, verbal bullying, social bullying, physical bullying, and also cyber bullying. Here is Tanjanese Cannon with her story. Not only did he start telling me stuff, but his friends started saying stuff, and people would think it was funny, so they, think, they thought it was oh, okay to say it to her. And it wasn't funny, and I, I made it known that it was not funny to me. After a while, I decided like I couldn't open up to people. I couldn't trust people to open up to them. So I held a lot of things in, and after holding a whole bunch of things in, you reach a breaking point. And I reached that breaking point, and I would think things that I never thought I would think. You can help prevent bullying by talking about it. Helping everyone around you understand bullying keeps lines of communication open. Modeling how to treat others with kindness and respect. There's so many suicides that are happening because of bullying and it's just like, we need to become a place where it's peaceful and happy and not a place where you have to feel scared to go. Like, I felt scared to go to school. I felt scared to walk out of my own house. And that's not a good feeling, it's not. It's just like, you're not free. You're trapped inside, you're trapped in a little place, and it's, it's a hurtful place. It's a dark place, and you want to run from that place, you want to get away from that place, but it's people holding you back from doing that. And it's funny when people say, well, you shouldn't worry about what other people say. Everyone worries about what someone else says and that's just logic. Everyone worries. Bullying can threaten students' physical and emotional safety at school and can negatively impact your ability to learn. The best way to address bullying is to stop it before it starts. Campus-wide, we promote students taking care of each other, of caring for one another. If a student sees another student and has a concern for them, we always have students coming into the counseling office or the administrative office to let us know that they have a concern for others. So basically we encourage all students to look out for one another, to take care of each other, to be respectful of each other. Um, and we think that's uh, one of the best ways and strategies to prevent and hopefully even eliminate bullying on campus. I feel like honestly, if you feel like you are getting bullied and you feel like it's a beginning of bullying, go to the counselors because you keeping it inside and letting it just happen is just gonna get worse and your emotions are gonna build up and it's not gonna end pretty at all. Going to the counselors not only can help you with your emotions that's towards it, but can help it stop. Many are victims of mean text messages or emails, rumors sent or posted on social media, and embarrassing pictures, videos, and fake profiles. Kids who are cyberbullied are more likely to use alcohol and drugs, skip school, experience in-person bullying, be unwilling to attend school, receive poor grades, have lower self-esteem, have more health problems. There are many roles that kids can play. Kids can bully others, they can be bullied, and they may witness bullying. There are many warning signs that may indicate that someone is affected by bullying, either being bullied or bullying others. She never like screamed at me. She always screams at the other kids, but she never screamed at me. And then when a girl was talking, she thought it was me. And then she said, Sophia, be quiet, but in a mean way. And then you're going to sign the behavior law. And then, and then the other girl said, um, it's not Sophia, it's me. And then I was about to cry because she screamed at me so loud. My experience in bullying is horrible. It feels it feels uh, sad to, to know that you're going through all that stuff that is in school, home, or in different places or certain places of your life. It is, it is depressing to know that you're being bullied each day. For years, 
words appropriate in the case stupid, dumb, and uh, I'm going to chop off your head. They told you that? Yes. How do you feel about those comments? Scared. Felt scared. Did you tell your parents, your, your principal? No, I kept them out shut. Do you feel that a person that gets bullied should tell someone? Why? Because um, so, so they can make it, so they can tell them to stop. It's depressing because it's like a cycle of your life, over and over again. You can't stop it. It's like they're controlling your mind into something you just feel like it's non-stop. And it is not nice to know what you're feeling at that moment. Well, my friend, she bullied me, and I was talking to my other friend, and and I'm like, T wait, and then she she grabbed me and pulled me over, and then she said she was gonna break my pinky, and then I went to to my house after school, and then I told my mom, and then my and then my mom reported to the principal, and then my, the principal reported to the, to my teacher. And then um, my teacher told her to apologize to me and don't say that ever again. <laughs> By bullying, you're not getting anything. By bullying, you know you're gonna get in consequences. By bullying, there's nothing into bullying that you have to do. People want attention from it, but they don't get anything from it. People just get scared from them instead of getting attention. They get the opposite of what they want. They should tell the teacher or tell the nearest adult. You should know that that person doesn't dominate you. It isn't you. It isn't the person that tells you what to do. It shouldn't be telling you who you are, what you are, and what you should be. Because you're just you. Stop bullying. Stop bullying because it makes the world kindness, happy, and beautiful. I, I never had to reach that breaking point to where I was. Why do you think that people should stop I'm told the, to the person.